road trip. Whoop, whoop. The first movie was me and Sonic, or me and a tennis ball. This time around, I get to act with more humans, which is kind of nice. They've got a life-sized model in the scene. We'll do a take with that model, and then it's pretty much like an orange ball that they put right there where his eyes would be. Make sure the eye line to the tennis ball is here and not here, but also use your imagination to be free enough to respond to what Ben might do six months down the line. I make this look good. James has such a great sense of performing with characters that don't exist. You have to have such a great imagination. As a performer, he just knows how to do it and do it great. Jeff is an incredible director, and he loves this story and wants to protect it and wants to see us have as much fun as possible. He comes from a very similar background to myself and to Ben Schwartz in that we got deep into these franchises. And Jeff understands things about Sonic that really only the fans can relate to. Jeff Fowler is one of the calmest directors I have ever worked with. He's doing such a huge movie with so many moving parts. He's like the steady ship among everything. Hey, go red. We got a code red And his calm makes us calm and more confident. You never worry that we're going to miss something or not have something. He's thought about it. Jeff sets a great tone on these movies, which is, hey, there's no egos here. It's a kid's movie, but it's also, let's make it fun for the adults. You show up on set, and I'm energized by it.